right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the first of hopefully many road trips here on the channel. My girlfriend and I, we are currently headed down to Orlando, Florida from central-ish, northern-ish Kentucky. It's roughly about a 900 mile drive one way. And then from there, we're uh, going up to St. Augustine. Little thing about me, I've never seen the ocean. I'm 24, I've never seen the ocean. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that knocked off the list. Sorry if you can hear uh, crickets. It's like 3 a.m. right now. Um, and then from there, uh, we're headed from St. Augustine back home. It's roughly about a 2,000 mile trip uh, in total. So this first part is going to be the trek down to Orlando for Disney World. I've, I've recently become a big Star Wars fan and then we're also gonna hit Universal because I'm also a pretty big Harry Potter fan. So, but the car, some of y'all probably already know it um, if you've watched the channel, but for those that don't, it is a 2022 uh, Model 3 Performance. It is on different wheels. It is on T-Sport line. TS5 satin gray uh, wheels wrapped in Cross Climate 2s. These were or are my winter wheel setup. Uh, I do have the Uber turbines. They're just, I was gonna dedicate those for my summer wheels, but to be honest with you, I'm thinking about just going with a different wheel for summer. Oh, I haven't really made up my mind yet. So yeah, but the main reason I don't have them on is because they have such a little sidewall. They're really bad with hitting potholes and getting bubbles and stuff. and. These have been absolutely fantastic so far. So I'm just sticking with these for this trip. So yeah, if you're interested in a set of Model 3 Uber turbines, they have like a thousand miles on them. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, uh, make me an offer. So let's hop in the car real quick. Um, first things first, as you can see, we're charged up 99%. Um, the first leg of the trip is gonna be roughly about 200 miles. Tesla keeps on telling me to stop in like London, Kentucky and supercharge, but I know I won't need to. Let's go into trips and y'all will be able to see uh, winter wheels right there. So I've done about uh, 4,000 miles with them, 287 watt hours. And this is during the winter, right? So super, super cold. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into here. We're going to rename this to Florida Man. All right, hit enter. And then now we're going to reset Florida Man. And there we go. Okay, now I'd said it was just my girlfriend and I, so the packing isn't anything crazy. Just suitcase, suitcase. Um, all around, I would say with uh, passengers, driver, cargo, we're probably adding roughly about 300 pounds. Down in here in the floorboard, I have the charging. You can't see that. I have the charging, and then I have a tire inflator. Uh, these tires have been really good. Like I've never had to inflate these in like 4,000 miles. But yeah, uh, no, that's literally all it is. So uh, let's go ahead and um, let's hit the road. Destination is on the right. Okay, so first stop arrived with eighteen percent. Efficiency has been a little bad, but uh, estimated charge time 50 minutes and these are charged via the minute um, I'm used to Superchargers charging via the kilowatt hour. So This is probably actually not going to reach No, no, this is not gonna reach at all man These are actually pretty far back oh, But I think this will reach Oh, yeah it reaches. Okay. Let's hop in. Got the speed warning. So now it has our charge time at only 20 minutes. 25 minutes. We're pulling 258 kilowatts. I think that's the highest I've ever seen this car pull in particular. So this is pretty much exactly what a better route planner had us at. 
because I really don't want to charge in Atlanta. Uh, I'm just not a fan of big cities. Um, so it looks like we're gonna go past Atlanta and then charge again down here in, what is this, Fort Valley? And then we're gonna charge one more time in Georgia and then one time in Florida, just slightly past Gainesville. All right, so we've already pulled down from 250. And we will be here until the estimated arrival states at least 5% for the next supercharger. Um, we're already back up to 71, kind of just waiting for this to hit 10%. Um, estimated arrival and then we'll go we could actually probably go ahead and unplug now all right there we go 10 percent continue trip go ahead and unplug it will be good we don't need to wait for that thing to charge us up to 15 or however far it was going to take us so next stop is in 149 miles we're going to arrive there with 10 percent we're at 72 so let's hit the road Uh, hi, hello. I'm sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming, but I wanted to quickly mention the sponsor of this video, me. That's right. Click the link down in the description or head on over to teststuff.com for all of your Tesla accessory needs, or at least for the Model 3 and Model Y, because who buys S and Xs nowadays? We got floor mats, screen protectors, rotating screen mounts, cup holder inserts, center console organizer, everything that you could need for your Tesla. And you can use code YouTube, all caps, for 10% off. Yeah, that's it. That's the sponsored segment. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so ended up arriving with uh, six percent. It says charge time of thirty minutes. Uh, this is a two fifty. Honestly, I think we're hitting all two fifties this trip. So, let's see here. Let's get plugged in. Uh, I think there is eight stalls total here. There's a Model S down there, and let's see what we're getting here. Hear those connectors click. We should be able to pull. I don't know. I think 258 is like what it's showing now is like max. I've never seen a Model 3 do over 258. And 249, 252. Oh. Water replenished 24 kilowatt hours. And negative 24%, so we're gonna wait till that hits about five to 10% and then head out. Uh, I actually think that this supercharger is a little bit cheaper than the other one. Yeah, this one's a little bit cheaper. Only 98 cents per minute. The last one we were at like a dollar 30. So we're tapering off pretty hard right now. Only pulling 87 kilowatts and 0% arrival. So I'm gonna get that up to probably 10% just going through Atlanta on about a 5% overhead. I always say that, you know, more stops is always better. And if I wanted to be faster, I could totally, or I could have totally uh, unplugged whenever we tapered off um, around the 40%, 40 to 50% mark and just stopped in Atlanta if you're trying to be the absolute fastest, but I'm genuinely just letting the Tesla nav do it. 
and then just slightly adjusting it, unplugging a little bit before they say to unplug, just to be a little bit faster. Yeah, we got another, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna take another 10 minutes to actually get an arrival SOC of 10%. And 10%, all right, more unplugging. Continue trip. And away we go. I think we got another 150 miles at 74%. 75%, we're gonna arrive there with, oh, it dropped down to 8%. Are you ready? Okay, so we made it with 9%. It was really weird. So we ended up making it to the charger that it showed last, the Fort Valley. But like going into downtown Atlanta, it was trying to tell us, it like rerouted us like somewhere up through here. And it was trying to reroute us here to, how do you pronounce that? Macon? You don't know? Macon? Macon? Um, and I think what it was trying to do is that it was trying to bring us down through here and down into i guess downtown macon porsche macon uh and then through here so the second that it got to like three percent arrival it just rerouted us to a supercharger up here but it was gonna arrive us there with like i don't know i think it was like almost 20 percent uh and then once we got through atlanta i've like manually routed us to this one and this is a huge one 16 stalls 250 kilowatts it's in a bucky's which you've never been to huh so, uh, yeah, and we're also hungry, so we're gonna get food. But first, we need to plug in. No. Oh. There's a nice uh, Model 3 Performance over there, and they actually have Martian wheels. Uh, so, let's hop in, see what we're pulling. Huh. One kilowatt, nice. Wood 75. It doesn't really matter, because we are gonna deep charge here. Um, just because we want to go in and look around and get food and everything. So it could go all the way to 100%. Actually, I should probably check pricing. Oh, wow. It's only, this one's cheaper than the last one. It's only 81 cents per minute uh, for up to 250. Huh. Yeah, we're pulling 251. I don't think we're going to see a 258. That was kind of weird how we saw a 258 last time. <laughs> So what did you think about Bucky's? It's crazy in there. Yeah. Like hundreds of people for one gas station. I've never seen a gas station this big. But I don't even think it's like is it even considered a gas station or is it considered like It's like a whole Kroger. <laughs> like a premium rest stop that just so happens to have a bunch of like gas station stalls. I mean they also have chargers, so so let's hop in and see what we're at. But no, that that was insane. Just the sheer size of it is just huge. And I ain't gotta shed this hoodie, man. I'm burning. We've already tapered down to 89 kilowatts. Let's see 
We gotta put our thing back in. Okay, yeah, so that, that was the original thing. So we can go ahead and unplug because Tifton, we're gonna arrive there with 25%. Hopefully we can burn a little bit of that. I thought this was supposed to be our last stop and then our only stop was supposed to be in Gainesville. If we kept charging here, I thought that we were supposed to charge way down here. Yeah, we were originally supposed to charge here. That's 124 miles. So let's plug back in. Just cause I mean like, why not? We need to sit here and eat anyway. Let's plug back in and let's eat and let's get enough charge to make it down there. To make it down to uh, this charger, eight stalls, 250, one of them is out of order. And it's relatively the same price as it is here. But at least we won't be arriving with 25%. So, all right, what did you get? <laughs> this is what I get, a sausage on a stick. I think it's weird how you can't flip like an iPhone camera, like while it's recording. Okay. I also got a club melt. And then you got a club melt. I got a club melt and I got beaver tots. Are those just like normal tater tots? Yes. So we're gonna eat this and then we'll be on our way. And uh, I, I don't know, I'd say once we reach probably around 205 miles. It'll tell us that we can make it with our current driving, so yeah. So right after I cut the video, like what I just did is that I ended a trip and then I went out here. I scroll down to where it is, Vladotsa, right? And normally if it's gray, like if the supercharger icon is gray, oh, well, don't wanna do that. If the supercharger icon is gray, then that means your car can't make it. But for some reason, this one, when I clicked on it, it like, something happened on the screen. I'm not too, I'm not exactly sure why it's not showing, but like we have enough range to reach that. Maybe just cause the car like hasn't, I guess, refreshed its navigation or something. In 1, feet, and on it, uh, it originally said 15%. So that is where we will be headed next. That is 129 miles. I'm actually curious, is there another charger anywhere near there? It says there's some down through here. I wonder if we can make it to here. Maybe Jasper? You don't think we can make it? I think we can make it. Yeah, it's so weird that it's saying that you can't get there because the gray superchargers are the ones that you can't make it to and the red ones are the ones you can make it to. But it shows all these are grayed out too. So that's that's really weird. Maybe they changed it so that's that's no longer the case maybe it goes off something else the reason why it's gray but nonetheless I'll get that up in just a second but I gotta refill the water so I got this because I have a massive thing for water but it's a literal hazard um, keeping that in the car and going around corners and stuff so what I do I'll push this back some is that I just keep a massive thing of water tucked back here and then on the trip, whenever I need it, I would just fill that up and put that back in the car and put this back in the bag. Okay, so made it to, how do I say that? Val, Vald, Ost, Val, Vodosta. Vodosta. There we go. Yeah, it was trying to stop us um, up here in Tipton and it was gonna stop us with like 30%. It, it was really weird, our uh, charging session in um, in Fort Valley. Uh, that was really weird. It like was showing grayed out chargers that we could make it to. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna need to charge up here for about 25 minutes or 
recover roughly 45% or so. So let's up on out. It's, it is a 250. All these are 250s, and this is around the same price as the last one. So, but these have kind of a weird uh, charging setup. So, oh. still shining from the wash yesterday. Bending the cable. Oh. oh. There we go. She's ramping up. I don't know. We we should hit 250 at 14 percent. I mean, it's not going to last long. It's not like it ever lasts long. But 208, still going, still going. Yeah, around the same price as the last one. All around, I think we've spent maybe 30 dollars, 40 dollars on charging. The most expensive one was our first one, and that was the one that we couldn't really do anything about because we couldn't keep going further because there was nothing else further than the first one we stopped at and of course that was the most expensive one uh, 214 that looks like that may be around where we're gonna stop 215 and it's looking like it's saying 25 minutes to continue trip I say it'll actually be probably about 20 minutes it's 105 I say we'll be done at about 125 this is in a um, kind of I don't know, it's a Moe's, but I, I'm pretty sure Moe's is a burrito joint that I've always wanted to try. Uh, but there's also like a stop shop here as well. So, do you wanna go inside, look around? Yeah. Okay, all right, okay, we're gonna go in and we're gonna check it out. We're pretty much all set here. We're just gonna throw some drinks away and everything. Uh, yeah, no, I was trying to, okay, looks like we've actually hit 219. I, I was trying to just rip the battery like the whole way here and it was just not moving it, it was 10 percent. i think we might have been able to have stretched it right down to the north part of florida but i doubt it yeah i think i could have i just didn't really feel like trying to mess with it while i was driving and i just wanted to get on the road uh after we left bucky's so um but no i i tried to rip it on the way here uh essentially maxing out autopilot and it, it just wasn't like it, it was just 14 percent. i mean it was just straight flat like no hill is just flat so this the side cup holder took me so long to figure out like i don't think i used it at all in my long range and in this car it's essentially all i use because i hate having cups right here when i don't have to i mean it just takes up arm space but speaking of your like arm placement and everything uh i bought fsd for this road trip specifically and you can't get beta if you have the update with like the scroll wheel uh like commands and stuff so i don't have beta but fsd alone has been so nice i'm on like four hours of sleep two monsters and fsd has just made this trip a breeze i don't feel tired at all like at all the fact that going through downtown Atlanta, which I've never been through before, the car just knew what lanes it needed to be in. It knew what uh, exchanges, is that what they're called? Like interstate exchanges? We don't have stuff like this where we live. And it just knew exactly what lane to be in to take what exit to merge onto another interstate, blah, blah, blah. Like, I didn't have to really do anything at all. And the only thing I have to do is just, it says, hey, I want to get over and I let it get over. That's literally all I have to do. So this, I've been driving now since, it's currently 119. I've been driving since like 3 a.m. And I feel completely fine. The first like hour or so was a little rough just because it was dark and she was asleep. So I was kind of just in the car and I was listening to, I actually ended up finishing up the uh, Sorcerer's Stone. I had about an hour left. Um, now I need to start on the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, and then I also have the Prisoner of Azkaban uh, purchase and I'm about to get the next one. But I mean, FSD is just, it's, it's so nice. And I think I have finally found the perfect kind of position to sit in so autopilot doesn't nag you. So when you're sitting here, what I have found to work best is to kind of alternate between, assuming your seat is close enough, which my seat will be like a little bit closer um, when 
I'm not neat, easy entry, so my arm is, I'll just go ahead and show you. Uh, let's see, we'll go up to my profile. So I'll be like this, and my arm kind of just sits here, and my elbow rests there, and I'll just, like, I'll alternate between like this weird claw grip to this, to this, to this, and then same thing with the other arm. I can essentially do the same thing. And I'll just alternate between them. And then my foot gets kind of tired because with uh, FSD and like letting the car be in autopilot, you really don't hover over the brake. You hover over the accelerator because there's more phantom braking. Like the car is more cautious than not. And it kind of just gets tiring. But I found that there's actually some wiggle room in the accelerator to where you can kind of let your foot sink into it just a tad bit to where it takes all the pressure off your foot and you can just sit there and you know just completely relaxed leg but your foot is still ready to go when inevitably the car breaks for something stupid uh and then this right here stops all the nag like i think i have went 30 40 plus minutes before i like adjust myself now i'll kind of forget to put my hand back on the wheel because i'm paying attention to the road and then it'll like kind of nag me. But no, this right here has just been absolutely incredible. And FSD, 100% worth it if you're traveling over like, I would say over 500 to 1,000 miles. 100% worth it. For a monthly subscription, that is. Not the $15,000. And 10%. And I should be having every, like all, all the stats up for all this on screen. But that was the charging session, 10 bucks. And let's roll. I think it said another five minutes or so. It's probably just trying to charge me up to 15%, but don't really need it, so. Oh. Next stop is uh, 136 miles, so about two hours. All right, well, let's get after it. Okay, well, it took us how long? Too long. Way too long. We sat in traffic for, I think it took us uh, 15 minutes to get three miles. And it took us a grand total of, what, 40 minutes to go, like, 15 miles? Yeah. We finally arrived. It said this was going to be a wait. It did the same thing that it did uh, with Fort Valley, right? Where it tried to, like, re like relocate our charging session. And it was going to have a stop, like, uh, where at? Alachua. Yeah, it was going to have a stop with, like, 30%. And it's like, I don't want to stop at 30%. And I think it was a... No, I, I still think it was a V2 or a V3. And then it rerouted... And then when I tried to tell it to go here, it tried telling us to, um, to go to the 150 in this town, which made literally zero sense. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it's... But, I mean, even with the traffic, like, this is still faster because it wanted us to charge up to, like, what, 80% or something? Which just made absolutely no sense. So, it's already ripping. Uh, we only need nine minutes to continue the trip. So, we're not going to be here long at all. Uh, but we're going to run in and check out with a, a Wawa. Do we have this in where we're at? What even is a Wawa? It's like a gas station. Oh. Huh. Yeah, so first impression of Wawa, um, I've been in, I've been on Florida soil for five minutes and someone already tried to, what, it what, wasn't a scam, but. It's like a con. Yeah, dude walks up with a fake gold chain, looks at me, and he goes, hey, brother, do you like this? And I just looked at it, I looked at him, I said no, and he goes, alright, have a nice day. And he turned around and literally, what, three seconds later, we saw some other guy handing him cash for it. And then he like is putting the chain chain in the guy's hand and like forcefully like taking his money and then he just dips out. And I was like, oh my goodness. Uh, we're at 7% arrival SOC. I'm gonna charge up to 10 just in case we get there and all of the things are iced. And uh, if that's the case, then 
doubt I'll have enough charge to kind of like get around. Yeah. That dog's like in its own seat. It's so cute. 9%. We got one hour, 19 minutes to go, and 87 minutes left. 87 minutes. One hour, 19 minutes, and 87 miles to go. And we're already charged up to 50%. It's just calculating. Actually, I think the continued trip. Yeah, okay. So that's good. That's that's the first time that we've got this message. We, we always leave before we get this message, but... Oh, yeah, it jumped up from 9 to 12%. Maybe it just had to calculate. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to unplug. I saw some lizards around here. Oh, yeah. There they are. Look at them. I've never been to Florida, so you all can't judge me. All right, and away we go. Star one actually well after much driving around and trying to find these <laughs> chargers we drove to the completely wrong uh, side uh, we made it with 13% looking at our trip information here Florida man so we did uh, 852 miles pretty bad efficiency uh, but we were kind of booking it so we made it from northern-ish Kentucky to uh, Orlando from 3 a.m. to 5 p.m. So roughly what? Like 14 hours? 14, 15 hours. And we pulled up. For one, there's a pulsar there. Uh, model 3, Model 3, Model Y. There's a bunch of like J1772 chargers through here. And then there's dedicated Tesla chargers. I always did the dedicated Tesla ones just so I don't have to use a, um, a lock or anything. Uh, actually, it looks like this guy is using that one. The person parked here will use that one. I will use this one. I'm gonna plug in. I'll probably be getting a full 48 amps. So that'll be nice. Kind of charging yep full yep gonna get be getting the full 48 amps so i'm gonna lower the charge limit down to i, I know a lot of people have talked crap about the new charge screen i mean like yeah i kind of do miss the old battery icon filling up but i mean the fact that you're able to easily adjust and like know your charge limit is super super nice so but nonetheless we made it so we're gonna go and get checked in mm -hmm. 